Today, I have a countdown of the 10 most important effects in physics that you should all know about. Starting with 10, the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of a wave when the source moves relative to the receiver. If the source is approaching, the wavelength appears shorter and the frequency higher. If the source is moving away, the wavelength appears longer and the frequency lower. The most common example of the Doppler effect is that of an approaching ambulance where the pitch of the signal is higher when it moves towards you than when it moves away from you. But the Doppler effect does not only happen for sound waves, it also happens to light, which is why it's enormously important in astrophysics. For light, the frequency is the color, so the color of an approaching object is shifted to the blue and that of an object moving away from you is shifted to the red. Because of this, we can for example calculate our velocity relative to the cosmic microwave background. The Doppler effect is named after the Austrian physicist Christian Doppler and has nothing to do with the German word Doppelgänger. 9. The Butterfly Effect Even a tiny change, like the flap of a butterfly's wings, can make a big difference for the weather next Sunday. This is the butterfly effect, as you have probably heard of it. But Edward Lawrence actually meant something much more radical when he spoke of the butterfly effect. He meant that for some nonlinear systems, you can only make predictions for a limited amount of time, even if you can measure the tiniest perturbations to arbitrary accuracy. I explained this in more detail in my earlier video. 8. The Meissner-Oxenfeld effect. The Meissner-Oxenfeld effect is the impossibility of making a magnetic field enter a superconductor. It was discovered by Walter Meissner and his postdoc Robert Oxenfeld in 1933. Thanks to this effect, if you try to place a superconductor on a magnet, it will hover above the magnet, because the magnetic field lines cannot enter the superconductor. I assure you that this has absolutely nothing to do with yogic flying. 7. The Aharonov-Bohm effect Okay, I admit that this is not a particularly well-known effect, but it should be. The Aharonov-Bohm effect says that the wave function of a charged particle in an electromagnetic field obtains a phase shift from the potential of the background field. I know that this sounds abstract, but the relevant point is that it's the potential that causes the phase shift, not the field. In electrodynamics, the potential itself is normally not observable. But this phase shift in the Aharonov-Bohm effect can and has been observed in interference patterns. And this tells us that the potential is not merely a mathematical tool. Before the Aharonov-Bohm effect, one could reasonably question the physical reality of the potential because it was not observable. 6. The tennis record effect. If you throw any three-dimensional object with a spin, then the spin around the shortest and longest axis will be stable, but that around the intermediate third axis not. The typical example for the spinning object is a tennis racket, hence the name. It's also known as the intermediate axis theorem or the Johnny Beckhoff effect. You see a beautiful illustration of the instability in this little clip from the International Space Station. 5. The Hall Effect if you bring a conducting plate into a magnetic field, then the magnetic field will affect the motion of the electrons in the plate. In particular, if the plate is orthogonal to the magnetic field lines, you can measure a voltage flowing between the opposing ends of the plate. And this voltage can be measured to determine the strength of the magnetic field. This effect is named after Edwin Hall. If the plate is very thin, the temperature very low, and the magnetic field very strong, you can also observe that the conductivity makes discrete jumps, which is known as the quantum Hall effect. 4. The Hawking effect Stephen Hawking showed in the early 1970s that black holes emit thermal radiation with a temperature that is inversely proportional to the black hole's mass. This Hawking effect is a consequence of the relativity of the particle number. An observer falling into a black hole would not measure any particles and think the black hole is surrounded by vacuum. 
But an observer far away from the black hole would think the horizon is surrounded by particles. This can happen because in general relativity what we mean by a particle depends on the motion of an observer, like the passage of time. A closely related effect is the Unruh effect, named after Bill Unruh, which says that an accelerated observer in flat space will measure a thermal distribution of particles with a temperature that depends on the acceleration. Again, that can happen because the accelerated observer's particles are not the same as the particles of an observer at rest. 3. The photoelectric effect When light falls on a plate of metal, it can kick out electrons from their orbits around atomic nuclei. This is called the photoelectric effect. The surprising thing about this is that the frequency of the light needs to be above a certain threshold. Just what the threshold is depends on the material, but if the frequency is below the threshold, it does not matter how intense the light is, it will not kick out electrons. The photoelectric effect was explained in 1905 by Albert Einstein, who correctly concluded that it means the light must be made of quanta, whose energy is proportional to the frequency of the light. 2. The Casimir effect Everybody knows that two metal plates will attract each other if one plate is positively charged and the other one negatively charged. But did you know the plates also attract each other if they are uncharged? Yes, they do. This is the Casimir effect named after Hendrik Casimir. It is created by quantum fluctuations that create a pressure even in vacuum. This pressure is lower between the plates than outside of them so that the two plates are pushed towards each other. However, the force from the Casimir effect is very weak and can be measured only at very short distances. 1. The tunnel effect Definitely my most favorite effect. Quantum mechanics allows a particle that is trapped in a potential to escape. This would not be possible without quantum mechanics because the particle just does not have enough energy to escape. However, in quantum mechanics, the wave function of the particle can leak out of the potential and this means that there is a small but non-zero probability that a quantum particle can do the seemingly impossible. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next week.